Ha, that whole time I was talking and you couldn't even hear me. <laughs> Go figure. Um, I was taking a nap. <laughs> ah. Mm. I just took that first sip of that drink I was making. It's very good. I'll tell you what it is in a second. But um, yeah, I started taking Adderall this uh, week for my ADHD. And now it just like, I'll take it in the morning. I don't think it lasts the whole day because like it'll hit me at the like early evening, like around this time. And then I'm like, I'm so tired. Um, so I, So now I'm back to like taking naps in the middle of the day. So, yeah, but hey, it's time to get oily. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like my makeup. I did it really, really fast because, again, I was napping. <laughs> I set an alarm and everything, but it wasn't enough. Um, oh, this is, yeah, uh, it, it got smeared because Griffin got all up on my, oh, and I didn't finish this. I'm meant to be putting little dots, but, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this henna only lasts, like, a week tops. It starts flaking off after, like, three or four days, so it's like, eh. Um, yeah, my pharmacy did get Adderall. That's why my uh, therapist was like, okay, we can try it now because the um, shortages aren't as bad. So, yeah, but it still took, like, a week to get it. So they put the order in, and then I didn't get it for, like, a week. So, see, I don't – I haven't had to take naps, during, like, in the middle of the day since I was breastfeeding Griffin. I used to nap all the time when I was breastfeeding, but I'm not doing that anymore, and I stopped kind of taking naps, so. Yeah, people do call themselves oily moms on purpose. Oh, okay, so this drink, holy shit. Um, so I went to, about a month ago, I went to this place called the Grand Canyon Brewing Company, which is up in Williams. It's like Northern AZ, and um, they have their own distillery, and they make this peach blossom vodka so while I was there I bought it and I mixed it with some pineapple vodka um one of the new red bulls uh, that it, the flavor is apricot and strawberry so apricot strawberry red bull pineapple vodka orange blossom vodka and then um this sweetener it's like an almond sweetener I forget what it's called but yeah dude it tastes like a Starburst. Like, it's so good. Yeah, so for all of my other, um, what do you call them? ADHD meds, I guess, that I've tried this whole time. I've, I've had to take the pills twice a day. Um, but this Adderall is extended release, so it just, like, stops working in the middle of the day. And then I'm like, time to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, hi, Pippi. <laughs> uh, yeah, the drink is really awesome. I don't know if you can get the Orange Blossom Vodka because I literally bought it from the distillery. I mean, maybe you can buy it at, like, Total Wine or something depending on your region. But, damn. All right, enough chit-chat. You guys ready to get oily? <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. This episode... Oh, why is my screen all weird? This episode of That Oil Show... Uh, it's about heart health and emotions. I don't know why those two are, like, intertwined. Why they're putting them both in the same episode. Uh, unless, like, by heart you mean, like, I feel it in my heart. Like, those kind of... I don't know. That's annoying. But okay. Um, Ritalin making its comeback was not on my bingo card. I did try Ritalin first. And... I don't know if my dosage just wasn't high enough or what. I, I felt like it didn't do anything, but okay. Let's go. Let's get oily. You ready for the best theme song in the whole wide world? Because I am. Uh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Those brownies. It's that time, y'all. <laughs> on that oil show <laughs> welcome to our show <laughs> and we're talking about the heart today and about heart health and everything 
goodness, everything with the heart, not just the heart itself, but also some feelings. We're gonna talk a little bit about feelings today. And um, whenever we talk about heart, we, when we talk about any organ, we're gonna start with Ningxia Red. It's foundational to everything. Your heart loves Ningxia Red. And that's all that we need to say at this point. I mean, Ningxia Red is everything. How far are we into this? 53 seconds and I'm already pausing. Um, Ningxia Red is a fruit juice. Yeah, that's it. It's just, it's just straight up just a fruit juice with some essential oils in it for flavoring. <sighs> okay, so, I mean, I guess uh, sneak peek, but um, Kat Benson and I uh, filmed a collab yesterday. I, has to, I have to still edit it and stuff. It'll be up next week, but like we, I feel like I just had this conversation because I did yesterday. Um, just talking about how these people are just constantly like, Ningxia Red for everything, Ningxia Red for everything. And it's like, it, but it it's a fruit juice. It, it is a $50 bottle of fruit juice is what that is. And it's just like, because in, in the video that me and Kat were uh, talking about in our collab, uh, it's, they were talking about the whole Ningxia placenta and the lady's like, yeah, uh, my midwife commented on how thick my cord was because <laughs> of the Ningxia. And it's like, it's fruit juice. Excuse me. It's fruit juice. I. No. Yeah. Oh, we are so drinking oil. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Drink essential oils and poop out worms. I don't think that's how it works. Maybe your intestinal lining, though. Although some people do happen to think that that is worms. So, <laughs> great. Um, you're drinking oils and injecting marijuana. <laughs> I don't think that's safe. Don't do that. <laughs> um, Ningxia Red is ultimately expensive pee because you're just going to pee it out. Expensive sugary pee. Uh, oily sugary pee. Yeah. Mm, healthy. That sounds really good. Yeah, there was a lady who was like, yeah, I just drink Ningxia all day. And it's like, first of all, that's probably really expensive to keep up with. And second of all, there's no way that's good for you. It's like saying... Um, I don't know, like, I, I drink apple juice all day. It's like, that's not good for you, <laughs> you know? This is not really any different. The level of fruit and sugar in there is probably pretty similar. Um, but uh, Cardio Gize. We have a very specific Young Living product <laughs> um, that Gary Young made um, for heart health, and it's called Cardio Gize, and it's got so many great herbs and um, nutrients and oils and everything that supports uh, a healthy heart and cardiovascular system, the arteries and everything. Um, another one that's really phenomenal uh, is Omega Gize 3. And this one really is, um, it's a three in one really because it's uh, fish oil and vitamin D3, CoQ10, and there's a bunch of essential oils in it. And I love this fish oil because for me personally, I don't burp up the yeah, fishy yeah. taste. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why is because not only does Young Living use super high quality fish in their fish oil that have any you know, toxins, and any okay. um, heavy metals. Uh, Prove it though. Like, wait, okay. Mm, they're trying to work so hard on being like, oh, we only use super high quality plants for our blah 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 for all of our shit um now they're like our fish is high quality where do you get the fish who's the, who's supplying the fish i doubt that young living has a, a trout farm a fish farm a catfish farm i don't know i doubt young living has anything like that wait someone said muted oh that's probably from earlier huh um who's the judas at the table um probably the one who put a uh, clove oil on her butthole was it this lady I don't remember at this point. Someone did, though. Um, high quality fish doesn't taste like fish? Question mark. <laughs> exactly. That's the other thing, too. It's like, I don't think it matters what quality the fish is. They grow their own fish. Yeah. They got... <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the Mona Farm has a secret trout factory. <laughs> Every fish on this damn planet has heavy metals. It's just a matter if it's below the safety threshold or not. Right. Yeah. Mercury is a big thing in fish. Um... I call bullshit. I want to know who's supplying their fish. <laughs> and also, I mean, let's just be totally honest. They're probably not even, like, receiving the fish. Like, they're probably just given the oil already, 
You know, I don't know. I doubt they have their hands on it while the fish is being butchered or whatever the fuck. Um, it's a supplement, not sushi, ma'am. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't, I, I, I call bullshit. I want to know. I have never, like, in my time that I've been researching Young Living and looking into Young Living and doing all the things with Young Living, I have never heard a single person make a claim about the quality of their fish that they use in, uh, presumably their collagen, because they use fish for that, too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, because they were talking about how bad it tastes, right? Yeah. Um, and now their fish oil. They get fish essential oils on their fish farms. Ew, the fish have legs. Ew, gross. That is a high quality fish. Yeah, if they can walk on wa or walk on land and swim in the water, <laughs> that's a high quality fish right there. <laughs> Oily fish. Gross. Um, removed and, and all that, um, but it's in, enteric coated. And so whenever I take it, it can bypass the stomach acids. <laughs> and then um, also the essential oils in here are keeping that I don't think fish that's how oil, it works. healthy fats uh, from oxidizing as fast. Mm -hmm. Most of the fish oil that you buy on the market, even high quality refrigerated, by the time you take it home, half of them, half of it has already gone rancid, gone, mm -hmm. gone bad. And prove it really i mean like listen i'm not a expert on fish oil um i do know though that my husband has a bottle of fish oil tablet things in our uh, little medicine cabinet and it's literally labeled like no burp fish oil or something like so that you're not burping up the taste of fish like and he got it, I think it's just like the Walmart brand. I don't know. Like, it's specifically made so that you also can't taste the fish. <laughs> Hi, Mombi. Welcome, welcome. We're just talking about... Hi okay, Mombi is the perfect person to ask because she's she's deeper into this Young Living shit than I am. Um, Dear Kira, <laughs> this is the letter I'm writing to you. Dear Kira, in your time <laughs> examining Young Living, have you ever heard anyone make a claim about the quality of fish they use in their fish oil and collagen because to me this has been a first this lady just got done saying they only use high quality fish and I said fucking prove it <laughs> who's supplying the fish <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for mommy's answer because mommy um she, she knows her shit better than I do. And so you take that and it hits your stomach acid and you have the fishy burps. And then by the time it gets into, you know, down into the intestines to be absorbed, like how much of that are you actually able to use? Not a lot. Right. Um, but with our Omega Jai Suri uh, fish oil, it's, um, it, it's like you get to absorb so much more. And the essential oils in there are also helping to keep their... They're fat-soluble antioxidants. Yes. So they're keeping yeah, yes. those healthy fats viable so much longer. Now, there are a few people um, that have reached out to me and my team that said that they still have some fishy burps. And so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they said the same thing about the collagen. Like, they've said it in multiple... Um, episodes of this where they're like some people like i can't taste the fish when i drink the collagen but um uh, some people say that they can taste it and it's like that's not necessary with collagen anyway yes they have a back and forth with modier about whose is better that's mainly what i've seen slinging shit back and forth are you serious i mean that doesn't surprise me because like everyone left young living for modier so <laughs> well i mean that's one of the many places they went but i just i've never heard anyone be like Young Living only uses the highest quality of fish. <laughs> what? What? I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, no, Andromeda Archives, um, I know there are, I, I know that's a thing with fish oil, but like they, like I was literally saying, like, my, my husband has a bottle that's like, no fishy burp fish oil, like it's like labeled that way, so... If they figured out how to do it, it's not that exciting that Young Living figured out how to do it. And it probably has nothing to do with the quality of fish. <laughs> and then I asked them if they have oh, tested their pH balance. Like, are they really acidic? When you're really acidic, you have a really acidic stomach, 
um, that can um, affect that. Doesn't so, everyone have an acidic you know, stomach? They'll take alkaline. Um, yes. His, goodness sake, so we haven't even talked oh about alkaline. Oh my goodness. Yes, that <laughs> is I was such like, a I was like, we can talk about enzymes some more too with that. <laughs> I know. Talking so over it. But, you know, when, uh, if you are having that, those fishy burps, that's just to me really a sign, with, especially with the mega chai three, because it's, you're really not supposed to have fishy burps. But that would be telling me that, you know, I've got a lot of acid in my body and so I need to help. So she's making excuses for people who still take this Young Living Fish oil but still have fishy burps. Even though she just got done saying, you know, you don't get the fishy burps. And then she's like, oh, but sometimes some people do say they still get fishy burps. And it's like, well, <laughs> maybe they didn't get the good quality fish in their fish oil. I, ju I just... <laughs> she. Oh my God, it's like, it's so frustrating because... It's so clear that she's just like talking out of her ass. Yeah, well, obviously we use high quality fish. What the fuck is a high quality fish? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a uh, wild caught salmon versus like, yeah, tilapia, like dogs be life just said. Like, is that what you're talking about? I don't, I, it makes no sense. None of it makes sense. Shed that acid and balance my pH and all that. Also and lick the stream, please. Thank you. It's that. fish flavored so today. Another one that we have um, is mind wise. Oh. Now it's not just for the brain, um, but this is um, healthy, good fats from the Sacha Inchi Nut. This is a um, vegan, vegetarian uh, formula. And so it doesn't have the fish oil, but has a lot of really great oils. Now, why are fatty oils important for our heart and our cardiovascular system? It's because um, we need, our arteries need to be nice and stretchy. Yes. So our arterial walls, um, we need good healthy fats for healthy arteries and a healthy heart. Um, we don't want them to get hardened. We want them to be um, pliable and stretchy. And that's where our healthy fats come into play. Now, when you consume I don't know if that's healthy true or fats, false. you want them to be able to go through all of the processes of through digestion to be absorbed then um, metabolized and all those good healthy fats to be able to go to the heart and go to the arteries. And so we need to make sure that they don't oxidize as fast. We don't want oxidized um, omega fatty acids in our body. That's actually does the opposite. And so we need them to stay viable as long as possible. And so enter in, and some people probably can guess from previous episodes, longevity. is our longevity, yeah. our longevity vitality. And so, you know, you can put those in uh, the clear veggie capsules, um, put them in your ningxia red or, or in some almond milk. But um, this, I mean, that you cannot have these without this. <laughs> Imagine drinking oily milk. She's like, put some drops of our longevity oil in almond milk. Can you say ew? <laughs> I can, I'll say it again. Ew! Oily milk, really? Pliable arte arteries is code for triple A. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, hold on. I'm reading comments here. I love getting all my doctor advice from someone who isn't a doctor, right? If the arteries are too stretchy, you can have an aneurysm. Is that how it works? I don't know. Um, but not too stretchy because you can get an aneurysm. Okay, <laughs> that's what everyone else is saying. <laughs> that's scary. Wow. Stomach acid will do the opposite of oxidizing. I have a degree. <laughs> I don't fucking... What are they talking about? Uh, also, yeah, they sound like they are recording in a bathroom because I'm pretty sure they just have one mic in the center of the table. So, like, the people closer to the center sound a little more clear than the people on the outside of the table. Every time. How long have they been doing this show? This is the sixth episode. They've been doing this show for six months and they still have not gotten, like, lapel mics, personal mics, even just more mics <laughs> like so they're not all like sharing a mic i don't i don't know <laughs> you really can't we need fat soluble antioxidants and so um oh my goodness i can i can talk a lot about a lot of these um heart products um does anybody have any favorites well over here you have mineral essence oh yes the mineral essence and this is this is 
very, very important trace minerals. So yeah. our, our food supply does not contain the minerals that it used to mm -hmm. um, because of the way everything is processed, the way they treat the soil. We just don't, we don't have, used to we could get all of our magnesium, for instance, from our foods because the foods would pull it out of the soil. Well, our soil doesn't have no. <laughs> the magnesium it requires. Dude, I would love, love for them to just for once share their sources. Like, you're going to make a fucking YouTube show and you only make one every month. It's not that hard to just be like, here's our sources for everything we talked about in this video. I want to hear a source for this shit. Even if it's not not just the Young Living stuff, like whatever they're talking about. She's like, yeah, something about, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other thing is too, is that I was looking into this mineral thing yesterday when I was talking to Kat for our collab. And um, the first ingredient is like salt. <laughs> she's like our foods just don't have it. this is very important i think it's like salt and magnesium and it's like i don't know where you get magnesium from in regular foods i'm sure someone can tell me but i also know i used to take mag was it magnesium i think it was magnesium supplements i used to take like when i was in a band uh the day that i was about to go on stage my vocal coach told me told me to take magnesium because it helps like loosen your vocal cords so that you're not so tight <laughs> so I would take magnesium supplements and then one time uh I, I had those in my car and I went to Vegas one time and we forgot to lock our car and someone broke in and stole everything out of our glove compartment and they stole my magnesium tablets I'm like why <laughs> so I had to buy more <laughs> anyway that's all I know uh source bunghole <laughs> yeah they, they're pulling this all out of their ass we know that can can't they be fine like those doTERRA docs were for this <sighs> I think this is different in the way that with the doTERRA, um, what, what did Brianna Jewell call it? Divic? That's COVID spelled backwards. So uh, I'll call it Divic. I like that she did that. Anyway, um, it was a Divic pro protocol and they were literally saying that it could treat, prevent, and cure Divic. Um, so... They actually, these, these ladies here are, they've been pretty good so far about not saying specific illnesses and then like claiming that their oils can cure them or prevent them or anything like that. But they do spout a lot of like scientific stuff and I don't think that, mm, I, I, I don't, I don't think that they have a, a clear understanding of what any of it really means and they're just kind of like spouting shit out of their buttholes. So I don't know, I don't necessarily think that they can be, like, prosecuted the same way as the doTERRA reps. Would you call it prosecuted? Yeah, the DOJ is doing shit with them. So, anyway, clove oil bunghole. Yep. <laughs> but can it cure ligma? <laughs> ligma! And, and so that's where this mineral essence comes from. And this is incredibly powerful and... Uh, it's because. salt and magnesium. Efficacious. <laughs> Efficacious. <laughs> Efficacious. <laughs> I look to my friend to give me the big word. Powerful. It is very powerful. <laughs> and and, and it's very great. Available. Yes. yes. And so this is great for the heart. And we are speaking about these trace minerals are very important for the heart. But this is also very important for your mental health as well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these in here. So. And I look I'm looking it up. Fuck this. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's in this. What does she call it? Mineral... Mineral essence. <laughs> it's in my like recent search history. Let me tell you what's in this. And while she can sit there and claim that this shit is good for your heart or whatever, I don't know either way because I know nothing about heart health really. But I do know a thing or two about mental health because uh, I've been struggling with that shit for years, baby. So um, just again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. But here, here is what it says in the ingredients. Mineral essence blend. First ingredient, salt, honey, lemon peel oil, cinnamon bark oil, peppermint oil. That's it, right? That's everything, right? Salt, honey, lemon oil, cinnamon bark oil, and peppermint oil. Please explain to me what any of that has to do with mental health the, uh, i i just i i just want to know the minerals wait did because i said magnesium right i don't even see there i lied there's no magnesium in this 
Weren't they just saying there was magnesium in this? Let me look at the about. Mineral essence is a daily liquid supplement that combines the benefits of minerals with premium essential oils of lemon, cinnamon, and peppermint. It provides essential ionic minerals. What? Salt? Which are the most fully and quickly absorbed form of minerals available. It's an excellent source of magnesium in a convenient, easy-to-use bottle. Is there, like, magnesium and salt or something? Too much salt is bad for your health, right? Trace metals. I'm looking for someone... Is there... I love magnesium, but I bet like most of their stuff, you can get it way cheaper on its own at any supplement aisle. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, I got like a huge bottle of magnesium supplements for like six dollars or something like that. Um, two commonly used amendments to raise magnesium levels are. Oh, where'd that chat go? Epsom salts and lime. There's not even lime in here. Just lemon. I'm sorry, but if salt can give you magnesium, then just go eat a fucking French fry. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Epsom salts. It doesn't say any specific kind of salt. It literally just says where to go. Ooh. Salt, and then in parentheses it says trace mineral complex. Yeah, I have Epsom salts for my bath. <laughs> I didn't know that was magnesium though. That's true though. Now that I think about it, doesn't it say that on the bag? It's just like in smaller print. I don't know. Oh. All, all I'm saying is that sounds like a load of bullcrap. Also, how much is this thing? A 3.6 fluid ounce bottle retails for $43.75. If you're a Young Living distributor, you can get it for $33.25. And I don't know how much you're supposed to take of that how long it will last i don't know i mean it seems like a pretty big bottle of stuff but if one of those droppers i don't know maybe it'll if you're taking it every day maybe it'll take last a month so just add that onto their list of their grocery lists of uh essential oils and products that they buy from young living all every month i mean at this point these people have suggested so many oils and products that they're spending thousands of dollars a month on this shit. And like in every episode, if you're if you're new to this, in every episode they have like a list, that's what they're doing right now. They're listing off a bunch of products that they use for a certain part of their body or whatever or certain health or whatever. Um and they they usually have like multiple products and they're like um yeah, I, I take this twice a day or I take this daily. I take this every day before I work out. I take this every, like these are, they, they recommend so many products that they use on the daily, okay? Thousands of dollars. Absolutely. What did Hunter say that everyone's laughing at? Relaxes the muscles like poppers? Magnesium makes you magnetic? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about though, Hunter? People are laughing at poppers. What are you talking about? Is that an Australian thing? But Quinlan's laughing at you, and I know that Quinlan's from Canada, so. <laughs> what are you talking about? My dumb American brain doesn't understand. I'll tell you that this is something that has a very pronounced flavor. So <laughs> it does. I either like it or you don't. When, nice. I, when I first tried it, it was abrupt. <laughs> so what I've just done is just you slowly work yourself into more, more and more. And yeah. so one thing I've noticed, sorry, I like keep pausing, but one thing I've really super noticed with all of these episodes is that every time there's something that they have to, like, defend the flavor of it. And this is what that is right now. Well, e you know what? Even the fucking fish oil shit, they were defending the, the fish burps and stuff. Like, guys, I, I'm starting to get the feeling that, like, nothing from Young Living tastes good. And I've tried Ningxia, okay? I can tell you that while Ningxia isn't disgusting, it certainly is not as good as you think it would be. Um, poppers relax the bungholio. Oh, Sarah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see, I don't, um, <laughs> those are things I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. Thank you for, um, no, just take some magnesium next time, Hunter. <laughs> so with my children, my kids take mineral essence every day. We put it in our shot glasses, um, at the beginning of the day and with your name, with our taking shots in the morning, and baby. So it is, you know, some people say, oh, I just like the way it tastes. 
what are you willing to train yourself to do? Mm -hmm. We train ourselves yeah, to like right. bad food. Yeah. We mm -hmm. train ourselves to stay up late. We train yeah. ourselves to do the bad habits. Why can't we train ourselves to do the good habits? Because it tastes like shit. <laughs> Everything that she, okay. You don't need lemon oil. You don't need cinnamon bark oil and you don't need peppermint oil. So those three things that are in that bottle, you can throw that shit out. The rest, what else was in it? Salt, <laughs> right? That was it, right? <laughs> Double check one more fucking time, but salt. Oh, I'm sorry, and honey. My bad, honey. <laughs> so like, it seems so unnecessary. I'm like, if you're trying to get your daily magnesium in, why would you take this thing that allegedly, even according to people who love Young Living, <laughs> It tastes like shit. It tastes bad. So if if magnesium and other trace minerals are your concern, why not just pop a pill, swallow it, don't even worry about the taste. You don't have to taste it. You just swallow it and go about your day. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. What's up, Karina? <laughs> Got my glasses. I'm out the door. I'm about to drink this oil <laughs> and you know what one of the things that that we can do too is when we take it because i'll even take some and i will say Ew. thank you god for these minerals they're so good for my body i let it absorb <sighs> you swallowed it what do you absorb where <laughs> watch i'm about to let this drink absorb i let it absorb <laughs> into your esophagus like Oh my god, and she, like, oh my god, she makes it into like a, what do you call it, um, I was gonna say a mantra, no, what's, what's it called? I don't know, but she's like, oh, she turns it into like a whole thing, she's just like, alright, um, I'm gonna take this disgusting oil dropper, um, and put it in my mouth, and make sure I thank god, like, that has to be, it's part of the process, right? Throat coat absorption, is that... <laughs> I don't think, I mean, maybe, shit, I don't know. The screen pause? Yeah, pretty good. Um, ritual is the word I was looking for. Thank you, Smith and Kitten. Uh, affirmation, yeah, that's another good one. Like, daily affirmations, looking at yourself. Yeah, that's almost kind of more of what it is. But I think I meant, like, a ritual. Like, she makes a fucking ritual out of it. She's like, I have to thank God for this. I know it's good for me and it tastes like shit. I just, oh, oh it's. It makes no sense. A prayer? Kinda. I guess. I, I think I meant ritual. Not pure romance. Oh, are we still talking about poppers? <laughs> Throat burner. Daily affirmation of lies. <laughs> exactly. Yep, she's casting spells. Yeah, a ritual. Because, yeah, I was thinking more like um, how I feel like they they're always... Um, kind of doing ritualistic shit, like how they're, they're like, we put, um, what the fuck is the name of that oil? Not good fortune, but it's basically that. I forget what they call it, but like, it's an oil and they're like, you put it in your paint when you paint your office, you'll get rich. Um, oh, abundance. That's what it is. Uh, we put it in all corners of the room and it'll get rich. Like, that's like some witch shit, but like, they would be really, really offended if you said that they were doing that also bungholes <laughs> and just kind of even just under the roof my mouth whenever i'm having some time with menstrual cycle or after a workout if i have a charlie horse or cramping i like to take minerals because it immediately gets my body what it yeah, needs that's right. and so i don't have a problem doing what i need to do i would have gagged 16 years ago if i had done that but i worked myself to do it and i've taken mm -hmm. up to five dropperfuls just directly under my mouth mm -hmm. because i want I've trained my body to know that, that this is what I need and it's good for me. No, it's so unnecessary. It is so unnecessary. Why are you doing this to yourself? You do not need to be doing this. Oh, my God. It, it, it's like... I think these people... What is it? Uh, masochism? Is that when, like, you find pleasure in pain? Like, <laughs> they're just, like, they love it at this point. They're like, I, this is not good for me. Or, no, 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 the taste is not good for me, but it's gonna be so good. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just, like, I get that feeling. I hope you know what I'm saying. That sounds suggestive. Everything these people say sounds suggestive. <laughs> she has no more gag reflex. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>
heard people say, well, I'll put it in a capsule or I'll do this. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need to get it into your system. But we can train ourselves to do it. It's and, and salt you and honey. <laughs> give your body the minerals it needs. Linus Pauling was the one that said. Oh, my God. Talked about minerals. I can't remember his exact quote. He was a Nobel Prize winner, but he talked Nobel about Prize importance. winner. Oh my God. Guy, he, he was a Nobel Prize winner. The minerals being the foundation of our health. Absolutely. Ooh. You know, when I think of minerals, I was thinking of blood pressure, and Talia had made a really good point about your blood pressure. Yeah, a lot of people think that um, your blood pressure is regulated, and it is does have something to do with your heart as well. But it's really regulated in the kidneys, mm -hmm. and so if you're if you have high blood pressure, um, or if you're just wanting to maintain a normal, healthy blood pressure, um, support your kidneys. Uh, make sure you, juniper. Uh, I don't know. Nope. Um, we have K and B tincture. K and B yeah. tincture. Um, K and B tincture. And, and juniper's in it. And your kidneys yes. love oh, juniper. Yes. And it's in you K and B tincture. So, isn't juniper just like a tree? <laughs> They're like, your kidneys love juniper. <laughs> your kidneys love trees. Says who, dude? And, then, and um, she was talking about the taste for minerals. Says can be is also very, yes, very strong. And so, you know, I make what I call an ugly shake every morning. <laughs> and and I think my son called it ugly the first time because That's I put funny. everything in it. I put my mineral essence in it. I put my KMB teacher in it. It does not tasty shake at all. <laughs> and I just down it because I'm also like an entire shake. Why do they do this to themselves? They. I'm telling you, they enjoy, they enjoy the fact that they're doing shit that is just completely unpleasant because they're like, yeah, this means it's working. If I hate it, <laughs> no pain, no gain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my God. I, let's get it all over with and move on with my day. <laughs> I don't want to spread this out all day long. Yeah, and you know, exactly. so I'm just like pour it all in, blend it all up, down it, <laughs> you know, and I don't even taste it anymore because like that, you just get used to the taste. You, you, you train yourself. You can train yourself. Yes on whatever your body needs. So I personally take mine in, this is one of the supplements that I don't do without. Um, I get really, really great sleep when I take it. And so I actually take mine at night. Oh, and good. so I actually will mix it with um, MindWise. Mm -hmm. And just in a little teeny tiny shot glass, I do the, the MindWise and the five t um, dropper fulls, of, which comes out to be about a teaspoon. Um, and so I do that of the mineral essence, and I just down it, down it and then I chase it with Ningxia Red. <laughs> there you um, go. <laughs> because it's really, magnesium is one of the, you know, mm -hmm. yes. uh, main proponents of, the, of mineral essence, and it's really good for sleep. It's really yeah. good if you're not, if you're getting restless sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's right. Magnesium is great. Yes. So I personally like mine at night. What even, dude? Science! Hey, Talia. My cardiologist friend keeps sending me x-rays of his chest. It's a bit weird. Well, at least you know his heart's in the right place. My name is Wendy. <laughs> and I'm Talia. And this... Can you see a heart on an x-ray? Isn't the point of an x-ray to see the bones and not the organs? <laughs> I know that was supposed to be a silly, silly little joke, but... It didn't make any sense! <laughs> Unless I'm wrong, maybe you can see the... Because, like, when they're scanning organs, that's when you do a CAT scan, right? Is that what that is? Because I'm pretty sure that's what I had when I had my kidney stone and I thought I was dying. <laughs> and they're like, no, you just have a kidney stone. <laughs> my first kidney stone. Anyway, that was so stupid. <laughs> is this is a, a science, science highlight. highlight? Heart health is tremendously important. And still, heart disease remains the number one cause of death in the U.S. and the number one killer of women. Oh, you can see the heart? Huh. What do you know? Soft tissues on x-ray, echocardiogram, right? Isn't that like a, um, what's it called? Like an ultrasound? You can see the basics of the heart on an x-ray. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm stupid. Research shows that obesity, smoking, lack of exercise, and poor nutrition are the main factors in heart disease. You know what also research shows? That's, that didn't come out right. You know what research also shows? That essential oils are um, n not doing anything for you. Actually probably harming you more than anything. So um, that's what research shows. You want to talk about research? <laughs> research shows that everything you're fucking talking about here is just not doing anything for you. 
So what can you do to keep your cardiovascular system healthy? Well, we can eat well, exercise, get out in nature, and well, take your supplements. Today's product spotlight is Cardiogize. Cardiogize is made up of a heart healthy blend of herbs, oils, vitamins, and minerals. Let's start with astragalus. Astragalus is an adaptogenic herb. It protects the heart from stress, protects artery walls, and helps maintain a healthy blood pressure. Dong Kwai has a relaxing effect on the cardiovascular system. It supports cardiac rest and keeps the blood flowing smoothly through your vessels. Motherwort is calming and relaxing to the heart muscle and supports a healthy heart rate. It also supports healthy cholesterol and triglyceride levels. In addition, it helps to maintain a healthy blood pressure. Next is Hawthorne Berry. This actually supports- I've never heard of any of these things, but uh, just a disclaimer, everything she's saying I would take with a grain of salt and please do your own research. I don't think that any of this necessarily does all the things that she says that it does. Also, I see a bunch of people talking about kidney stones in the chat. I can attest to that. Uh, I've had two kidney stones in my life. Uh, both, well, one was right after I had Sparrow. They're, they were both, like, pregnancy-related because I had heartburn so bad I was just, like, fucking taking <clears throat> Tums like it was candy just to make the heartburn go away. It was awful, okay? Um, but it resulted in a kidney stone in which um, that pain was worse than giving birth. Yeah. Worse than labor. Worse than, like, I mean, I, I had an epidural for the actual birthing part, but, like, the contractions and stuff that are super duper painful, it hurt more than that. It was bad. I thought my appendix burst. I thought I was dying. <laughs> I was, like, puking because the pain was so bad. <laughs> like, it was awful. And then the second one I had while I was pregnant with Griffin, but it wasn't as bad. Um, yeah. Pregnancy and, and me equals kidney stones, and it is not fun. Anyway. Sports healthy blood flow, healthy blood pressure, and stress levels. We all know that stress is the leading the dog cause doing? <laughs> of heart attacks. This also helps to maintain a healthy heart rate, supports your heart cell metabolism, and enhances the flow of electrolytes across your heart cells. It also enhances the function More of like your cardiac enzymes, cell. which make it easier to withstand stress. Next is deodorized garlic bulb extract. That's a mouthful. <laughs> this helps to support heart health in general, and maintains healthy cholesterol levels. CoQ10, now there's a tremendous amount of research on CoQ10, and I strongly suggest that you Pregnancy look sucks. up some of the things that they have out there. But this is a naturally occurring antioxidant that is produced in the body. This actually lessens stress on the heart, and studies suggest that it promotes a healthy blood pressure. Lastly is K2. This is like a hall monitor for this calcium. This is going in one ear it's and out the other. It's used by the tissues to ensure that calcium <laughs> is deposited in the correct places, like in our bones, and it doesn't build up in places where it shouldn't be, like our blood vessels and our kidneys. There's also some essential oils in this product. Angelica, what? cardamom, <laughs> cypress, lavender, helichrysum, rosemary, and cinnamon. All these ingredients work together to support a healthy and robust heart and cardiovascular system. I don't know about you, but I'm at... Um, yeah, Deanna, they have white jackets on because they are professionals and they are scientists and they want you to take them seriously. And when I said they were scientists, that was a lie. I'm pretty sure these people have no scientific background at all, but I could be wrong. It's all for show, really. Adding this to my cart today. Oh boy, farm junkie, let's go! <laughs> farm Hi, dumpies! I'm and I'm Max. And we're farm junkies, and today we're you're farm dumpies! Lid on the cooker. Right, this lid, uh, it's, it's tilted up right now so that all the plant material can, can be put in here, but then when the lid comes down, if we could have that down, you'd see a very definite uh, angle to that lid. When Gary first started distillation in France, the lids were really flat. And Gary had this idea that there needed to be an angle to it to have a kind of a draft like a chimney would, would draft smoke out. You mean like when you like boil, I don't know, rice <laughs> and you need to have like a little vent? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Like you need to let some of the air vent out? 
go figure. <laughs> and so to confirm one of his ideas, down over at St. Mary's, he actually got in a cooker, they closed the lid, and they fired everything up. And about that time, Mary came around, and she's looking for Gary. She looked at the guys and said, where's Gary Young? And they're going, hmm, hmm, hmm. She put her hands on her hip, and if you ever know Mary, when she puts her hands on her hip, she means business. She said, you tell me where Gary Young is. I seriously doubt this story happened this way. I don't doubt that Gary Young was crazy enough to get into one of these little vats, these distillation vats. That doesn't surprise me at all. It seems a little convenient that Mary Young came poking around at the same time, just like, where's my husband? <laughs> and we're like, where's my husband? Oh, that's, that was supposed to be me trying to be Donald Duck, and I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't know. This, this, I feel like anytime anyone tells a story about Gary, it's not true. <laughs> Or that is like super overinflated. And they pointed to the cooker. She said, get him out of there. And what he had discovered was he had that angle right to where the steam wouldn't just circle around and go back hey, Nicole, down and leave oil in, but it would draft up through the top of that and get into the condenser to go through the distillation, to get out into the distillery ah, for separation. JD. So he was even... I'm going to say a quick shout out. Thank you, JD, for the super sticker of a pair uh, rolling around and laughing. That's very cute. More efficient. Always I appreciate it. Efficient. Thank you. Gary was always. And how did he know how to do that? Trial and error and doing whatever it would take to make it the best. Like getting into the vat. <laughs> I wonder what kind of gross shit they're going to cook today. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is- Oh good, the kids aren't here this time. Whew. Okay. At least we have that. Thank you again, JD. Sarah, and today I'm gonna be making a very special family recipe that me and my oldest daughter, Julia, developed several years ago over lots and lots of trial and error. And it's my homemade Alfredo sauce. It's a huge hit for my family. And I for doubt our that. guests that come over to visit. I don't even know what the, what's about to happen here with this Alfredo sauce shit, but um, I feel like it's going to ruin Alfredo sauce and that makes me really upset. Is it? And today <laughs> I'm gonna be adding a little twist with one of our Young Living products, as you will see in just a moment. But first, we've gotta make the Alfredo sauce. So over here in my pan, I have Booter. Um, some butter that I had melted. And so I, I used about, oh, two or three tablespoons of butter and I got it nice hey, and Hey, Harper, hot. thank you for and joining. And so to that, I'm going to be adding, let me set this here. What is she doing? I'm going to be adding <laughs> my heavy whipping cream and it's just one pint of organic heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to add this to my mixture. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Um, you know, get it nice and hot until it's just... How do you make vegan fettuccine Alfredo? I mean, do you, you probably use like almond milk or oat milk or something, right? I can't, like, how do you do that? <laughs> Thank you again, and Harper. So, and I want to make sure that Gordon I is going to yell. <laughs> the butter before the butter turns brown. And so... Uh -huh, because that means you're burning go. it. Nice so, okay. In here. And I'm going to mix this up really well. Oh, she's going to put oil in the then, sauce, Grace. 100%. And by the way, this is grass-fed butter that's nice and good for you. <laughs> okay, so let me turn it okay. down a bit. Next, to thicken this up, I'm actually going to use the juice of half a lemon. And I just put it in the... Why don't you use lemon essential oil? <laughs> What is this? I thought this was that oil shell. Lemon squeezer here because I don't want any butters. seeds getting into my sauce here. So, here we go. Add in the lemon juice. Super yum. And I'm just going to stir this up really good. And with that heat, the acid is actually going to start thickening the heavy whipping cream. Oh, cashews. Hey okay, you. that makes sense. So this is kind of, you know, that right here, this is just a really nice Okay, Deanna, that makes sense. That actually that sounds pretty good. Use as a base. 
um, for other things. But I'm going to turn it in to the most yummy Alfredo sauce. I mean, I think it's really yummy. So yeah, you all have weird flavor palettes too dude. high, but I do like or taste to see those nice Is that what you said? rolling boiled there. Okay, so. I'm gonna be adding to it. This is a three cheese blend Cheers. with Fontina Asiago and Parmesan. Okay, so like an Italian cheese blend. And you just add this here. It's a blend actually that I get from right Whole Foods. now. This Julie looks and good. I have tried so many other brands and different blends, and this just really makes the creamiest, yummiest Alfredo that we found, and so. I add this in here. I want to keep and the heat. And I hope your Alfredo is delicious. I'm sure it is. So this will be nice and melty all together. Then the next thing I'm going to put in is about half a container. The, that other amount I put in was five ounces of that shredded cheese blend. And next I'm putting in Not heart healthy, two right? Two ounces yeah. of grated parm It does seem kind of weird that they're making such a fatty <laughs> like calorie dense food i guess if you will um when they're making an episode about heart health because i can't imagine this is good for the heart even it doesn't matter if you're using all these organic ingredients and shit like it still probably isn't very healthy <laughs> parmesan cheese now this one um is oh blaze goddess she is going to season her sauce don't you worry She's gonna season it with essential oils. I guarantee. John, that does not have the anti-caking ingredient in there because it just doesn't make a very creamy Alfredo when it's got that. A lot of grated Parmesan has anti-caking. Oh, you guys so you are making me want shredded Alfredo. Shredded Parmesan or grated Parmesan. I want Olive Garden. And just you gotta keep stirring until it's healthy. <laughs> it's all melted and nice and creamy. Alrighty, then next I'm gonna let this um, I'm gonna let this cook a little bit more. Whoops, turn that down. Now I get to turn the heat down. I don't want to scorch my pan or burn my Alfredo. But yum, look at that. Nice and smooth and creamy. You can add a little bit of um, uh, garlic powder to it, but I'm not gonna do that today because I'm gonna show you something else no garlic in an alfredo sauce no no also i'm gonna add to it <laughs> that is so yum so yum so i'm gonna turn the heat off and then i'm gonna head over to my other station your oily yep. station beautiful all right, so i already transferred the alfredo sauce to wait that was bowl. it she she didn't season it. Um, okay, so like we know that she's gonna add essential oils to this, right? Like we know she's going to. Um, wouldn't you think that the best time to do that as far as like incorporating all the ingredients is while it's over the heat and it's like a lot of butter and stuff so it all mixed together and like the flavors would intertwine and stuff. I Maybe... <laughs> You know, maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit because, like, I don't know what she's about to do. But to me, literally all she did was melt butter, put cream in it, and cheese. No salt, no pepper, none of that. Uh-uh. I know we're not done. I just don't understand why she would... If she, Because we know she's going to add essential oils to it. I don't get why she wouldn't do that while it was on the heat. Because, like, it would mix together better. Right? Right? Yeah, this is going to be rough. Well, here and uh, in real I'm actually garlic. Mm -hmm. Going to call over a friend. Oh no. Who doesn't know what I'm about to do? Amanda, come on over girl. She doesn't okay. know what she's about so to so do. So my friend Amanda. What are you about telling, to do to this sauce? <laughs> okay, I made my homemade alfredo yes. sauce. Yes. Okay, and so here's here's the secret ingredient that okay. I'm going to put in my alfredo sauce. It's our ninja greens. Wow. <laughs> So Ningxia Greens is 60 plus vegetables, fruits, and mushrooms that have so many beautiful oh health gosh. benefits. That's awesome. One scoop is two to three servings of vegetables and fruit. You ruined and so I've been it! Experiment, uh, experimenting with this 
um, for a while now Aww. since I've gotten it. And we've tried it in so many so I wonderful get to taste? dishes. Yes, I really love it savory. So I'm gonna add some veggies to okay. my Alfredo, okay? And so no. I'm gonna put a whole scoop. Okay, Stop. whole scoop. <laughs> In my Alfredo sauce here. I'm trusting that it tastes good. <laughs> it does. It does. She's never tasted this, y'all. I think it tastes amazing. So the first... Of course you think it tastes amazing. You're also the same person who said that your fucking fish oil and your collagen didn't taste like fish, even though other people taste the fish. I don't think this lady has like normal taste buds. This time that I tried this, I tried it. I had never done it before. Bye, and mommy, I went love you. Live oh yeah. In our team's Facebook okay. group, and I oh, was like, God. okay, y'all, I'm gonna do something I've never tried before, and I did it, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's I can so smell the greens. Good. I can smell can them. Smell she the said, the oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a lady who usually says, oh my word. She just said, oh my gosh. <gasps> She's going to hell. So, you know, it takes <laughs> a little kidding. bit to mix them up. In, I'm just getting hell as um, The Alfredo. But, and you know what? Actually, I could put this in my Vitamix um, oh, yeah. and just really blend it up good. And How chunky is this? Why would you need to blend al Alfredo sauce? If you're just put, okay, this Ninja Green shit is supposed to be a powder, which you, in an Alfredo sauce in general, you... But, like, if you can't even stir it in without it getting chunky to the point where you have to put it in a blender. Ew! Or, hear me out, just add kale or spinach to the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. No, because it's not Ninja Greens. And, um, anyway, there's a few little clumps here. But... It's she keeps stirring so it because it's clumpy. Yummy. That looks really good. Doesn't look good. I have had your Alfredo, so I know I that's know delicious. You have. I yeah. know. I love to make this. every time we come over to Sarah's house, she cooks for us, <laughs> and that's one of our favorites. That and her buttered rice. Ew. Oh, wow. <laughs> buttered <laughs> rice. Yeah, my... That is the whitest thing anyone has ever said. <laughs> In that inflection, mm, buttered rice. Oh God. And my soon-to-be um, son-in-law, my future son-in-law, Tyler, who happens to be behind a camera over here, um, every time I'm about to make, he's like, oh man, you didn't call me in time enough for, for me to get over here to watch how you make it. <laughs> I was like, maybe that's on purpose. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, I have to have some secrets, right? Exactly. But anyway, it's really, to really yummy. Coming so, back, right? To keep him coming back. <laughs> so anyway, so I stirred this up. Um, like I said, I might next time i've not ever actually made some this much of it i had only put some in a little bit okay. so i might put it in my vitamix to kind of smooth it out but you know you just should not have to do that bits out. so one scoop for a whole for this whole recipe the whole recipe okay. yeah and i had shared i just i just shared how to make it okay and awesome. so you'll have to, have to watch. go watch it you'll have to watch and see the recipe okay so now there we go okay it's nice and oh it is hot <laughs> so i'm just gonna pour it Okay, I'm not going to pour it. all of it. I'm going to pour some of it. Here we go. Okay. Now, okay, y'all. I'm sorry. Are those spaghetti noodles? She couldn't have even gotten like the... Is, is it linguine? What What would it be? Like the thick, like fettuccine Alfredo noodles. Like she did this with spaghetti noodles. And she didn't add essential oils. Just the Ningxia shit. I'm surprised she didn't add like oregano. I think they have like basil vitality oils and stuff. Like why wouldn't you add those... If you're cooking Italian food, like there are plenty of vitality oils that like would go into that. I just can't imagine this tastes good, dude. She didn't, she didn't put salt or pepper in it either. Oh my God. Do you, you know why that her freaking future son-in-law, do, do you know why he's like, oh, I wanted to see how you make it? It's probably because he's like, he's eaten it before and he's like, this is not Alfredo sauce. What the fuck am I eating? I need to know what she put in this shit. <laughs> there. <sighs> it's fettuccine. Oh, it's just called fettuccine. <laughs> You're right. Oh man, that's funny. This is worse than the freezer freezer fudge. I agree. Yeah, chunky Alfredo sauce. They there's not a 
single uh, seasoning in here. Not Italian seasoning, not salt, not pepper, which I would argue that pepper is probably the most important part of a feta, uh, of Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Fettuccine noodles. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> Wait, RK is in here? I hope they never ruin pizza for me. I'm assuming that's you, RK, not Savvy. Savvy would be here on on her Savvy account. What's up? Hi, Mark. Um, Yeah, garlic. Didn't she say something about... Yeah, she was like, you could put garlic powder in here, but I'm going to put something else. What? Ugh. I don't, I got to see how she can ruin an Alfredo sauce. Exactly. Yeah, there's no garlic, no pepper. The two probably most important parts of an Alfredo sauce. Um, salt, at least a little bit. Maybe some other spices and stuff. They've got essential oils that could definitely contribute to the traditional like alfredo flavor she didn't do any of that she she melted butter put cream in it put cheese in it and then mixed in ningxia greens she did put uh parmesan cheese in it i saw her put that that in there but not garlic um yeah this is um I'm upset. <laughs> oh, I just poured this on some of our Young Living einkorn Dude, spaghetti. Get Gordon Ramsay on mm. this shit. I love and their spaghetti. So I do too. Um, einkorn is so nutritious. Um, it has um, more it's enzymes brain. in it, so it helps you break down um, the gluten. And so there's, you know, a lot of people that have gluten sensitivity. I do have gluten sensitivity, and can I can totally eat it eat the iron without the bloating yeah see it's amazing <laughs> and so okay you'll have to get gary's book all about the iron corn yeah, <laughs> <It's laughs> very very interesting. Um, on the young living website yep. um just add it to your cart and get the iron corn book oh so gosh, okay so it's good. so good all right are you ready to try yeah. we're just gonna go for it this here. is like a friday night meal I know. It's with, just a fun. I mean, you can add some grilled chicken, or sometimes we'll do steak gorgonzola, you know, and I'll grill some steaks. And um, yes. okay, are you okay. ready? Okay. And go. One got away. <laughs> it's so it's good. It's really good. It is so good. It is really, good. really good. Shut the fuck up. Are you surprised? <laughs> I'm so shocked. I need to see what's in Ningxia Greens. <laughs> because I know what that tastes with. Out oh, the cheese and the butter <laughs> and the, everything that goes in. Okay, I have to get another bite just because. it was good. It's so good. I have to try it again. You Let's know, I could again. add a drop of our lemon vitality oil. Uh, I don't even know if it needs that. No? Oh, she did add lemon juice to it. So at least there's like a little bit of acidity, maybe. Um, okay. Ew. Okay, I, I pulled up what Ningxia Greens is. Um, first of all. This is a new product, so they apparently just came out with it. Meet our mushroom, fruit, and vegetable powder. <laughs> Ningxia Greens, a one-scoop solution to health and wellness. Um, ingredients. Number one ingredient. Apple. Second ingredient. Banana. You put this shit in Alfredo sauce. Um, lemon. Wolfberry sprouted leaves. Alfalfa, kale, parsley, broccoli, fermented superfood blend. Grape, brown rice, ca carrot, apple, radish, cabbage, celery, cucumber, banana. A banana again? Onion, burdock, <laughs> spinach, pear, orange peel. Like, just everything. Just everything. Okay. Uh, Japanese parsley. <laughs> bamboo i thought i thought it said jalapeno so i was about to freak out but it said japanese parsley instead um oh there's more oh my god guys the, i don't think you can see this but this whole screen is just my whole phone screen is ingredients there's so much shit in this dandelion pea sprout strawberry chive mushroom what does this thing taste like I couldn't even, like, everything I'm reading here. Well, first of all, the first two ingredients are apple and banana. So, like, that would be what's mostly in there, right? Unless supplements don't adhere to that rule. But, um, 
None of that sounds good on its own, but also, like, putting that in an Alfredo sauce, that doesn't sound right. Dirt, probably, yeah. They just dried out their compost. Exactly. Like, what is this? Welcome to Bal Banana Alfredo Land. That's what this is. There's probably so little of each ingredient. Right. I mean, there has to be. But, like, I'm telling you guys, if you go Google, like, look this up right now and look at the um, ingredient list. It is very, very long. That's what she said. Oh, you <laughs> no, like it? Because I, I already put it. lemon juice in my yeah. recipe. Y'all, it's a hit. <laughs> she wouldn't be eating more if it wasn't good. There's no fucking way. I can way. eat that whole bowl, probably. Okay. It's well, really good. As soon as we're done, you can go eat it. It's your, <laughs> it's your dinner. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. All right. You're welcome. Why can't they just and eat food like normal people? They can't even, like... They can't do anything like a normal person. See, here's the thing. When you join Young Living or any MLM, but Young Living, I think especially, it's more than just a company. It's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle change. And that's what they were saying at their New Year's kickoff. They were saying that their goal for the year is essentially to convince people to start switching out everything in their lives with Young Living products. Um, reset your health or something like that is what they're calling it. I don't remember exactly what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's what they're trying to get you to do. That's why they're doing this shit. <laughs> you know what's good? Garlic and salt? Agreed. Neither of those things are in here. I mean, maybe there was garlic in... Is There is garlic in Ningxia Greens. However, it's, like, in the middle of the um, ingredient list. I'm just like, I'm see you see stuff like apple, oranges, pumpkin, uh, what do we got? Like, uh, strawberry, it, like all those like sweet things, but then they also have mushroom, <laughs> onion, <laughs> spinach, it's like all of this mixed together does not sound good. I'd be really interested to try what that tastes like. I can't even think of, I would imagine it would be more sweet than anything. Yeah, there's banana in there. It's weird. It's fucking weird. Cult food? Exactly. <laughs> they can't do anything like normal people is what I was getting at. Um, because Young Living just takes over their lives. Like cult 101. Exactly, Sam. Enjoy. Oh, Lord. Now, of course, okay, we're talking the heart. We gotta talk feelings. And emotion <laughs> and the yeah. heart. When it comes to the heart. <laughs> when it comes to matters of the heart. Um, and matters and so of the I fart. Have sitting right here, my feelings could. And I know each one of us at this table could talk about something with the, the emotions mm. and our oils. And um, when I think of the heart, I think about joy. And I have the joy blend sitting here. Mm. Um, and I love to wear this, um, you know, just as a reminder, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So remind us which oils are in this Okay. Day. Did she say the joy? Sorry, I was looking at my cat. <laughs> Did she say the joy of the Lord is my strength? Can we stop? Can we just stop, please? Enough of that shit. All right. So, all right. Well, I'm about to all of y'all. Maddie, they would say I'll yes. I'll let somebody else. Uh, well, I'll say, I'll say before you even get into the oils of that, yes. of the kit, a lot of people get very overwhelmed when you start talking about emotions because... How do you know what to address and how do you know what oils to use and how do you, it can seem overwhelming. And so for me, um, if you're not really ready to kind of dive headfirst into emotions and how to um, really combat some of those things or, you know, get to the root of your stuff, um, the feelings kit's a really great place to start because it's already put together. It's six things that kind of are just very blanket oils. And there's a little protocol that goes with it of, mm -hmm. you know, putting it on and, and inhaling it. Yeah. And it's just a really great starter place um, before you can kind of jump into are, the deep end of yeah. emotional stuff. Yeah. And it's and such a much better value if you bought yes. those yes. all individually. Yeah. It's um, when you buy them in the kit, it's about seventy five or seventy seven dollars. Um, cheaper, as, as more cost oh. effective, and then you get it on your loyalty rewards, yes. ding, ding, and then ding, you're ding. gonna get your additional twenty five, you know, whatever your points yes. back. So, as yeah. of the airing of this episode, I have been on loyalty rewards for 196 consecutive what? months. Um, I would. Oh my God, Sherry, thank you for the 4.99. Keep up the good work, thank you. Um, I would love to see a profit loss statement by this woman. She's been on loyalty rewards for 196 months. 
Which, how many fucking years? That's more than 10 years. Hold on. Pippi, you, you can't tell me this. Okay, 196 divided by 12. 16 fucking years. This bitch has been on Essential Rewards. And Essential Rewards is their auto ship. Um, thank you again, Sherry. Um, yeah. So she's she's been in a place where every single month, month after month, she's got an auto ship order being placed. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know how big her team is, if she even has a team. I'm sure she does. I don't, I don't know anything about this woman. But I would be really interested to see all that you know i'm almost i'm about to hit my hundred month mark nice <laughs> but i wanted to say when you are using oils for emotions it's very 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 important yeah. that you're smelling them yeah. i mean it's yeah. great to put them how on. can you not smell them oh my god what are you talking about i can smell an oil from a million miles away dude like they are very very potent what are you talking about you mean like purposely smelling them like putting them in your hands and you know what i'm saying Ew, how do you do that? Or whatever, but That's you, the but face of the death. The nose is connected to the limbic system of the brain. The limbic yeah. system, of the system of the brain is where all the emotions are created and, and stored. It's the librarian of our emotions. And so if you're dealing with emotions, you want to be sure that this, you're breathing it. So Take diffusing it in your diffuser is yes. great, but you want to you mm -hmm. like get it right in there. I And I've talked about this in videos before, but like, Cause I have, I, I still have this essential oil up here. Like at this point, I just like keep my essential oil up here. Um, because I've been making so many videos about young living lately. Um, this is a revive oil, but like I tried in one of my videos, I put a drop of it in my hand, rubbed it together and, and I couldn't, I could not fucking do it. And these people, okay. And you'll see, um, my collab with Kat, it'll be out next week. Um, there's a lady there that just has a diffuser going in her face and i'm like how do these people do this because to me it's like it's such a strong scent that i cough i it, it doesn't and they would probably be like well if it was a young living oil not revive blah 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 shut up no any oil is gonna do this to me and also like those strong scents like that will give me a headache um, some of them, cause I'm like, I, I have like seasonal allergies and stuff like to, I guess to plants and stuff. I don't know. Um, if I smell the wrong thing, like my tongue gets all itchy and like the back of my throat kind of swells up a little bit. It's kind of scary. Um, how, how is this okay? Burning the inside of your nose, right? Exactly. Like if I try to, and not only that, but like every time I've ever seen these people do this, they don't dilute the oil at all. They take it straight out of the bottle and go, and then, so they rub it into their hand skin, <laughs> their hand skin, and sniff it. Oh, burns the nostrils. <laughs> what is that? What Ron Burgundy said? Stings the nostrils. I think that's what Ron Burgundy said. Um, I don't even use a diffuser near my plants, right? Like I was uh, trying because I bought one of those diffusers that you put the water in, like so it's like a steam diffuser. Um, you can use it just as, like, a regular, like, air humidifier. But you can put oils into the uh, little reservoir. So, like, I put, like, one or two drops of essential oils in it the first day I had it. Put it in my office. Like, and so this, it, it was another room before. This is my office now. But before, it was just, like, one of my other rooms. Um, within, like an hour I, I like couldn't be in that room anymore and that was just me being in the room with the diffuser let alone having it going in my face the whole time there's like I don't know how these people do it and maybe these people would be like well it's because you gotta train yourself to do it it's like no <laughs> my body immediately says no my body says you cannot do that like <sighs> this is so dangerous there's no way that any of this is good for you at all. And I would say take your time. Mm -hmm. yes. Because most people are just like, oh, I smelled it. No, no, no. Oh, like, no. take an entire minute per oil. Yes. And right. deep breath. Be a, yes. a minute in with that oil. Yes. And breathe in slowly. Hold your breath. I can't Exhale even do it once. And take like a full minute for every single oil. Purposeful. Very purposeful. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you want real yeah. results. results. Yeah. And Sarah, yeah. you know, you talked about the opposite organs. Uh -huh. um, when we talk about the liver and the gallbladder and the heart, well, the 
the gallbladder is bitterness. It stores. It can store bitterness. It can mm -hmm. store resentment, liver anger. So if you think. These people have been reading that cult book. Like, that's the shit that was coming out of that cult book. Um, my word made flesh. Saying that, what did she say? The gallbladder harness resentment. What? <laughs> no, it's that, what? That's not how the human body works. What the fuck? Think about the opposite of what we wow. want to do this month. Is the month love month, right? Yeah. Is that we want to have we want to provide unforgiveness to ourselves and to others. We want to walk Forgive in forgiveness. Peace. forgiveness. I'm sorry. We want to provide. <laughs> yeah. Why did she put un in front of that? We want. <laughs> no one ever forgives each other. <laughs> she, she had to be corrected. Like, I don't think is unforgiveness even a word. I don't think so. What the fuck? That's fine. <laughs> I will give you my unforgiveness. <laughs> Freudian slip there. Um, so, but we no. want to provide forgiveness yeah. to mm -hmm. others, also to ourselves. Yes, yes. To ourselves, because sometimes we are we yes. um, definitely yes. hold ourselves um, right. up to a different standard, thinking we can forgive others but not ourselves, and allowing My those emotions to release from our body, just as all of the other things that collect in our body can. Lori, thank you. Lori loves books. Thank you for the five. A uh, dollar uh, super sticker with a giggly little fox. That's so cute. My lack of a gallbladder is sad, says Lauren. Um, it, I guess that just means you can't harbor any resentment. So seems like it's a good thing for you. Release. So can these negative emotions. They can remove. And the, I love the fact that you mentioned that because we want it to release the emotions, release the memories. It's not that you can't ever have a memory of things. Like it doesn't erase your memory. What it does is it takes away that physical feeling of the emotion mm -hmm. and you can have you can recall things without having to bring dredge everything back up from yes, an right. oil it mm -hmm. releases the pain connected to a negative emotion i don't think that's so, how it works you know, and and just speaking for myself I, as a child i went through a lot of abuse so there was a lot of emotions connected go. with that and they were all stored because i was too young to process um. them but then she found essential oils and now suddenly her trauma is no big deal. She was able to, to deal with her trauma from childhood when she found essential oils, right? Please. Please. This is when shit starts to make me mad. Because I'm like, dude, you're like straight up preying on people with trauma. That's what this is. And that's part of the reason why we hold on to negative emotions is because we're not... We're either not mature enough or we just don't have the knowledge to process what we're going through. And oh, but so essential oil that gets that stored part. and that gets held gotcha. on. And so as I'm releasing those things, I still have the memories of, of the abuse. That, that'll that always be with me, unfortunately. But the pain of those memories mm -hmm. is not there anymore because I have taken the time and been purposeful, mm -hmm. purposeful, mm -hmm. and and just gave all of that to God using the oils because this he gave us these to give us that extra help. Deep breaths, we're gonna make it through this. Um, so what you're suggesting, um, what you're suggesting is the way to get rid of your trauma is to give it to God and sniff essential oils. What if I don't believe in God? <laughs> well, that's why you need Jesus. Shut up. Shut up. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> Nobody does. Um... It's just so predatory. It, it makes me so fucking mad. Like, yeah, I wish it was that easy. Right. Like, this kind of shit is like a lifetime of therapy, right? And these people are just like, I feel like when people say just give it to God, they just bottle shit up. That's all they do. They don't actually process stuff. They're just like, yep, yeah, just give it to God. Yep, yeah, just uh, give it to big man upstairs and forget about it. He'll deal with it. And that's essentially, like, what I was taught growing up as a Christian. Like, my mom said that all the time. Like, give it to God. Give it to God. God gives me poppers, Hunter. You're going to hell. <laughs> um, no, seriously, though, that's what it was. Like, and I had myself convinced of that for a long time, too. I would be like, oh, if I just, like, I have this issue. I'm feeling bad about this. But if I just give it to God, like, you know what that meant? That meant I would put it in the back of my mind and forget about it. That is not healthy. 
that is not healthy. And I know that there are Christians in this audience who are just like, oh no, like I, I totally get, and I get it, okay? I understand the sentiment there. And I felt like it helped me back in the day. Um, now, knowing what I know, <laughs> it, it's just, it's unhealthy. It's bottling up your emotions, thinking that some other higher being is taking care of it for you. When really it's just sitting in the back of your mind festering and eventually it's not going to go well for you. Seriously give it to bob you know bob could probably do a lot better than <laughs> than god uh, what if god was one of us <laughs> drinking oils on a bus <laughs> no um yeah no you don't it, it, it's so frustrating because like she's making it seem like those are the things you need to let go of your trauma it's super not though. Like it's like you there are other resources and other scientifically proven ways that people can deal with trauma and you know addressing those kind of things within themselves. And um God and essential oils are two things that are not necessary when it comes to that shit. To get those out of our system. And Just so when I breathe that and I release like that, God. now I can speak about my abuse without bursting into tears and feeling the pain of it and, and you know, really all pink. the emotions that go with it. So awesome. it's very, very important. I'm serious, dude. Like, this has nothing to do with anything. I'm done with this drink, but it tasted like a fruit roll up. Period best thing i've ever like seriously best drink ever i don't know if you can get orange blossom vodka wherever you're at if you don't go to grand canyon brewing company but if you can <laughs> and, and alcohol is your thing uh highly recommended holy crap if you missed it it was the new um amber version of red bull it's like strawberry apricot and then pineapple vodka orange blossom vodka um, and it's like a, um, almond sweetener, forget what it's called, but, uh, tasted like a fruit roll up. Best fucking thing I ever did, dude. Very, very important. Oh, yeah. for, for those of you who hear this and you go, emotions and oils, like what? Cause when I, when I first saw there was yeah. a bottle that said forgiveness, I was like, <laughs> and they're <laughs> selling me down the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point of it. That's why Gary did that shit. Oh my God. This always makes me so mad because like Gary Young put titles of oils on, like he made these little blends and then like named them things. Um, while I don't think he had any re rhyme or reason for any of it, honestly. Actually, um, I think in the last That Oil Show, I told you guys I ordered um, Revive's versions of abundance and another one i don't know so i have them here uh good fortune is their version of abundance and then i got joy which i forget what th what this is a um replacement for but the good fortune one the abundance one smells like i i don't mean this in an offensive way but it smells like an old lady like it smells like you go to a church and it just smells like that because <laughs> it's all a bunch of old people yeah, nothing, I mean, like, I smell this shit, I'm like, this is not gonna make me rich. It's, sm I mean, it smells fine. It just smells, it smells like an old lady. Um, I guess my point is, I forget what my point is. <laughs> I used to be addicted to Red Bull because I really like the taste. Well, no, like, the, the flavored Red Bulls don't taste like regular Red Bull. Like, this tasted like a freaking fruit roll-up, dude. Anyway, um, yeah, the Cranberry Red Bull was good. Crystals at least look pretty. Little bottles of oil just look like nail polish. Yeah, I have like a whole like little crystal display over there. And I got a new um, shelf for more crystals. I have like a whole box of crystals that I, it's right here, actually. And I don't I don't necessarily believe in the power of crystals, but I do believe that like feng shui, I guess, like if you're around like I have this pretty uh or what's it? an orb a sphere <laughs> i don't know i have like a, oh though this one's really pretty see like i don't have these on display because i don't have a place to put them if i do now but now i have to hang up the shelf but oh, i love them they're just so pretty to look at and i feel like they're just as effective as essential oils which is to say that um they're not effective at all i don't know this one's like a little um one of those um stones that you just like it's almost like a fidget stone i don't know what the fuck is it oh this is like a skull okay sorry <laughs> 
I need to put my crystals up. I love crystals, but like I'm not sitting here being like, mm, that's where I get my abundance. No, <laughs> they're just really pretty. Oh, yeah, let me that. Oh, she's yeah. got property right. in Arizona. Right, so, so, I'm gonna give you, so I'm gonna give you something to go look up. Um, there's a book called The Molecule of Emotion by Dr. Mm -hmm. Candace Pert, and she's an amazing scientist, and she won all kinds of awards, but she discovered that when you have a physical emotion, your body actually creates a chemical, mm -hmm. a chemical molecule in your body, and then um, connected with the Chinese medicine, which the Chinese have known this for thousands of years, and we're just like proving it, you know, showing. Mm -hmm. But I doubt um, there's your, proof. your body will take, use your body like a hard drive, um, and it'll take that emotion, and. And for like anger, your body will um, create that anger molecule and it will store it in your liver. Everybody on the whole earth has anger molecules in their... I'm sorry. Um, what? And she's like, the Chinese have known this for so many years and we're just now starting to prove it. Where? Where is the proof? Excuse me, where is the proof? I don't think it exists. Oh, yeah, I have incense, too, because it, it does, like, I feel like incense, like, because I have candles, too, but I feel like incense, like, help, Pop-Tart's here! Incense helps, like, clear, like, purify the air. I don't know if that's true, but, like, I feel like it gets rid of, like, odors, like, whereas, um, like, burning a candle just, like, kind of masks it. Um, I love incense, but not, uh, you know, again, not for, like, the spiritual shit. But yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Anger molecules? <laughs> Let's get back to this. You store anger molecules in the liver. What? <sighs> Where do they get this shit? Seriously. I don't I don't understand. I don't understand, man. Your liver. Mm. And so maybe she's then thinking there's these, of vodka. There's these yeah. opposite <laughs> oils that are they were made for very specifically to go in different places of your body and they go and counteract those molecules, help release the, them, help this break is, them apart. And you, this is the most quack sciency that this show has ever gotten. Like they're always quack sciency, but this I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh my God. Actually get rid of that chemical that was representing that emotion. And it does. They pull it out of their butt. butt. Oh no, this is the teen one. So I just wanted to talk about oh, some of the oils that we use every day. Um, some of the oils I use for Jessie. Um, the biggest one is when she does not want to go to sleep. Sometimes she just wants to stay up and play and play and play. Do you ever feel that way? Yeah. <laughs> does your mommy ever use anything on you to help with that? Maybe oh, some okay. peace and calming, maybe? Yes. Yeah, or let's see, this one, this one's sleepy eyes. Jessie, <laughs> careful. <laughs> this she is won't making feel like me really sad. On the bottles, but we use it on her too. I put some on her little feet. Let's see. Let's put some on your little feet. Stop! <laughs> this little. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? It made me so sad. That is the most innocent, sweet little baby I've ever seen. Look at that sweet baby. And they're putting undiluted essential oils on her perfectly pristine and soft little baby skin. Fuck these people. I can't. I can't, dude. This is making me so mad. The cookie foot. There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you can't have it with <laughs> Well, here, here's a pacifier. That helps too. And so we just Sorry, put that I'm on her feet, and sometimes I'm just try to keep it away from the microphone so you don't hear the solution. You really help her calm down and realize, oh wait, I am pretty tired, right? Mm -hmm. Or have you ever felt like anxious <gasps> or a little bit nervous? Sit a goose. Sometimes when I'm doing something that's a little bit, it's a little bit anxious. Sometimes I like to use. Valor that can yeah. help and valor mean like the word valor means like being mm -hmm. brave and mm -hmm. confident uh, Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know according to Jacob Young Gary made the valor blend um, Right before he was about to go to court for some financial something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he had a court date um, I don't remember what 
the outcome of was of that court date um but he's like i need something to feel brave and confident <laughs> so he made an oil blend for himself and then called it valor uh because he was about to step into a courtroom jacob young's words not mine so that's what this valor shit is all about that's where it comes from and they're putting on a baby's feet to make it feel brave and confident. It's a baby! Oh, yes, please lick the stream. Uh, right now, it is a uh, slime flavor. Um, <laughs> and those all just help focus your brain. So you're focusing on mm. what you need to do instead of the things you're scared of. Mm -hmm. It helps you focus on the good things. Mm -hmm. Valor's my favorite, like for school before I take tests and yeah. stuff like that. Yep. Stress away is also very helpful. Mm -hmm. Stress away smells like key lime pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stress away makes me hungry. Are there any oils that just smell like food and you want to eat something? Yeah. Spearmint, like spearmint gum. Vanilla. Just well, chew gum then. Oh, yeah. Well, um, peppermint, it feels like that good taste. Like, like a chocolate. Like a yeah. mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is so sad. Uh, <laughs> but but then you taste the oil, and then it doesn't taste it's anything like what it time. smells like. Why? Because it tastes like shit? <laughs> could that be? Could that be why? Yes. I wish there was a chocolate oil. Mm. Um, There is a chocolate oil. I mean, I don't know what it is exactly but i know that i've seen it on some of the young living um some of their products ingredient list usually at the very bottom of the ingredient list for flavoring and stuff they have vanilla and chocolate they straight up have it i've seen it i've seen it it says there's a chocolate oil in some of their things don't know this is our favorite we're huh? back with another riveting episode of <laughs> dumb stuff with oils Today, we have a um, video episode from Dr. Richard Carlson, who is one of the, he might be the director, or if he's not, he's one of the head people in the research and development department at Young Living. He's a chemist. I might fangirl a little bit when I meet the people in research and development, because yeah, I'm a nerd, but. Nerd. Not because you're a nerd, because you're in a fucking cult, <laughs> period. We're here today to hear his video entry. This would be good. Yes, at Young Living, when we were there, Sarah interviewed him, so let's hear what he has to say. I have many. <laughs> he has many. <laughs> Working in, in R&D, we've, we've done some dumb things with oils. And, <laughs> you know, we didn't know it at the time. But uh. personally, uh, one of the early experiences I had with oils, and this was shortly after I joined Young Living, is, is I, I enjoy cooking. Oh, and I'm cooking. making some pasta sauce. Oh. We've got a it's nice tomato-based uh, Sunday pasta. gravy going on the stove. And I thought, hey, I'm going to add some oregano to it. Oh, my goodness. Well, I was brand new with Young Living. I didn't realize that the oregano that we have in the bottle is different from the Italian oregano. And oh. also, oh. I wasn't experienced cooking with essential oils. And you know how it's really hard to get just one Wait, drop. Just get just out. one drop. Well, I think I got three or four oh. drops. <laughs> Needless to say, we had something different for dinner. <laughs> three or four drops of oil is going to ruin an entire fucking gravy. And these people are just like willy nilly just throwing all these oils. Like, if that tells you anything about how strong these oils are, and these are the same people who are like just undiluted, just like throwing these oils everywhere. I'm just like, these people, why do you do this shit to yourselves? I like, I have no words. I just, I, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then yeah, oils aren't made to eat. We exactly. We teach our team members with oregano and cooking with oregano vitality to use the toothpick. And that's, swirl. What, I, that's what I've learned now, okay. too. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, thank you so much. Even the smart guys make mistakes. Yes, even the smart guys. Did, but did you notice he said that the oregano, the what we have in our bottle, is not the same thing as the oregano? Mm -hmm. And I didn't. I never knew that. That's a little tidbit for all you oregano users out there. There seem this seems to be a very common mistake. Yeah, and cooking with these oils, you actually want to make your pot have it, you know, sit down, cool a little bit, then put your oil in because the heat will actually change the components of the oil too sometimes. Well, if you have a pasta story <laughs> or a different story than pasta, make sure you send it to us at 
info at thatoilshow.com. Do not oil. Because we would love to hear it. (laughs) Do not email that oil show. Don't do it. Don't reach out to these people, And, you know, to to kind of review, if you're like, what is this fillings kit? What oils are in there? (laughs) Um, So I I always share, I like to share Valor first because sometimes when you know that you have have some hurt or bitterness or shame or guilt or anger, whatever it may be, sometimes it feels overwhelming and daunting to deal with that. It's like, how do I release that? I don't know if I can. This may hurt too bad. And so Valor, I love Valor. And you can just simply smell it from the bottle, um, put it on, breathe it in, and and it helps give you that courage. Just our bravery oil. That sounds like placebo is what that is. It's your bravery oil. Yeah, because what? Because Gary Young named it Valor. So suddenly that that's enough of a reason for you to be like, this is our bravery oil. Because our Lord and Savior, Gary Young, named it Valor. I just, I, I, uh, hey Cheryl, what the heck did you just drop by on? You dropped by on that oil show, baby. <laughs> Lots of frustrating shit this episode. I tell you what. Oil. Um, I always think I can do all, uh, all things through Christ who strengthens me. Right. And placebo. so, and then we have oh, uh, release Jesus. is my, <laughs> one of my favorite. They got a lot of like religious undertones in this episode too. The, she, she just like quoted that bible verse i can do all things in christ who strengthens me or whatever i just i I, the way that they try to tie religion into these fucking oils it's such a try hard thing first of all like you can tell that they're really really reaching with this but also like it where in the bible have they ever said that essential oils (laughs) like no they they'll say um i think i'm I'm trying to remember because i went kind of more deep into this in one video like a while back but like they'll say like an oil that's been infused with oregano or something but usually like it doesn't mean like like an essential oil like how young living makes like usually it's like some other kind of like i guess carrier oil like olive oil or something and they'll throw like a sprig of oregano or rosemary or something so then it's like an infused oil that's what they had back then they didn't have fucking release Item number 3408. <coughs> they didn't have <coughs> shit like this. <coughs> Excuse me, I choked down my own spit. Um, yeah, so the fact that, like, it's it's just such a reach. And they, I think there was one, there when Jesus was born, supposedly, they brought him frankincense and myrrh? Is that how you say that shit? But it's like, those were, they didn't bring frankincense essential oil they brought the plant apparently i'm pretty sure so it's like what why not why why aren't you guys just praising the plant of frankincense instead you know there's just so much there's so much and the way they just try to tie these things together drives me nuts i have to pee (laughs) we need to get through this favorite emotion supporting oils this blend um it's it's just a reminder for me to to release the negative stuff if I've, if I've had stress if i've felt some really strong negative emotions through the day which we all do um release it goes with me everywhere i have it in different places throughout the house strategically <laughs> um uh, another one yeah is eric harmony. that actually Dif- okay listen it's probably right <laughs> when you Her voice change okay there. <laughs> okay if you're gonna be around people no uh, <laughs> family during holidays during family gatherings and you're peopling i mean you know people you're peopling. have baggage and have stuff and sometimes you miscommunicate or misunderstand one another and there may be some strife Fabian. and harmony i'm telling you when you diffuse this wear it on like be a human diffuser yeah. when you go places yeah. mm-hmm. but i have used this many times to help resolve conflict <laughs> Gary Young was the fourth wise boys. man <laughs> <laughs> and it's fascinating um how fast it actually really helps um no really and really with harmony I'll when I, I I saw this happening with my boys when they were arguing they were in conflict and really struggling to compromise because they it was like I'm right no I'm right no I'm right no I'm right and so I had them I poured it on their head <laughs> they had them <laughs> breathe it in and it was like Human all of a sudden they AKA pushed away farts. whatever you know hurt was uh, mm-hmm. associated with the situation, and then they were able to be like okay in a better headspace to make a compromise. Mm-hmm. And so that's for me harmony. I don't believe the shit love, at all. Harmony, inner child, 
A this conflict one, resolution my husband, oil, exactly. When I got my premium starter kit over 16 years ago. Um, this year will be 17 years with Young Living. Uh, my husband looked at the product guide and he was flipping through and I was like, oh no. <laughs> like, not, I mean, uh, uh, but he was looking through all the blends and he, and it was new. Y'all, this was back in 2006 mm -hmm. and I had never heard the term essential oils. And so, um, that, people didn't know about that. And so he was like, what is this stuff? This is weird. I don't know about this. And so he was flipping through the book and he saw the blend, uh, inner child. And he was like, what? Inner child, what is all this Freudian stuff? Like, you know, like, what? Inner child. Um, and he saw forgiveness and he was like, what? There's an oil that'll make you forget. I'm like, no, 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 let me help you understand. <laughs> well, at first I didn't really know either. And I'm like, okay, don't worry about it. Just, okay, just focus just here. <laughs> just stay here. Just keep with the lavender. Use the lavender. Use your peppermint. Okay. Yeah. Use your peppermint. I'm like, I don't know. I will learn, you know. But anyway, but inner child, I mean, there's so many things and I could talk a long time, but inner child, for me, helps me remember, go back to when I was carefree and it was, you know, it was a lot easier to forgive and forget. Like it was a lot easier to dream. Mm -hmm. It was a lot easier to see, oh, the world is new and an oyster and it is so easy to dream. From an oil, also smitten kitten BG before Gary. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, seriously though. You needed essential oil to remind you how to dream. I, I these are grown ass adults who like don't know how to handle their own emotions without essential oils. And that's scary. Like, what were you like before essential oils? I don't even want to know. Because like uh, most normal people can manage their emotions and their dreams and their thoughts and their feelings without the use of essential oils. So what the fuck? <laughs> I guess we're all just not coping, guys. And so, so many people have, you know, cause life, you know, and they, they, they lose that ability to dream yeah. and, and, and to just have fun. This oh, is so what oils also help with we're going to go. And I look at my friend who loves like fun is like, what are your love languages? <laughs> to actually schedule fun she does. and then whenever I have to schedule fun mm -hmm. um I'm like what what do I do how come they don't have a fun oil they have an oil for everything else and <laughs> just sprinkle some of your fun oil on it and then there you go that'll give you the answers right I like, like, oh you can do this, are we this? Yeah. So what I put on inner child is like oh my word and it helps me really really you know, connect with my kids and and just be in that place to to have fun and so um forgiveness you know we already talked about that just being in that place you want to forget but there's so many hurts connected and so it's, it there's helps so many the hurts the hurt. and then present time mm, to deal yeah, with this stuff right. like you need to be present you need to be like not living in the past yeah she said she has to so schedule far in the fun. future it's like okay it'll just be better someday it'll just be better someday mm -hmm. and you're not even dealing with what's today you're still not dealing with anything if you're if you are depending on essential oils to get you through whatever emotional time you think you're having you're still not dealing with shit you are putting the burden on essential oils now and god apparently give it to god that's what i was saying earlier Give it to God means bury it in the back of your mind and pretend that some higher being is taking care of it. And then eventually you just bottle it up and eventually that bottle cap is going to come popping right off and things are not going to go good for you. I, don't, I am not convinced at all that any of these people know how to actually deal with emotions and like healthily and properly handle them. They just put it behind, they, they sprinkle essential oil all over it and then it's gone. That's not how it works. That's not, like, none of this is emotionally healthy in my opinion. Just do shrooms, lady. There you go. <laughs> That'll open your mind. Or, you know, for me personally, like, I, I'm a dreamer, I'm a planner and a doer, and I could be with my kids having fun, but then it was easy for me to be there with my kids having fun, thinking about what I need to do the next day and all my to-do list. And it's like, okay, present time, okay. I cannot believe that these people think they need these oils that some fucking scammer dude, Gary Young, came up with. He came up with these blends and named them. Like, it's not like this is like scientifically proven, any proven in any way that any of these herbs do the things, sorry, I'm like hiccuping. <laughs> 
um, do any of these things that uh, the blends say that they do. But since the bottle is labeled with present time, you have to sniff a fucking oil to remind yourself to live in the present. How is that mentally healthy at all? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, Maddie, research your drugs first, though, please, and be safe. Thank you, besties. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about drugs in the chat, which is great. You know what? You do you. I mean, there are certain, there are certain drugs that I think, um, are fine. Uh, and uh, there are others that are certainly not and very, very dangerous. So please, yeah. <laughs> what Maddie said, don't just go around doing drugs. <laughs> um, there's an oil for everything. Exactly, yeah. I wonder if there's an oil to remind you to poop. Well, the first episode, I'm pretty sure, was about your gut. The first episode of uh, that oil show. They were talking about a lot of poop stuff. So, yep. They do have oils and um, products for that. Mm -hmm. Get the hiccup oil. Oh! <laughs> nah, it's fine. I just had a drink. <sighs> And it helps me like disconnect from all that stuff. That's and unhealthy. Present. And so anyway, it's that's it in a nutshell. Most normal people do not have to do that to like remind yourself to feel an emotion or, you know, usually our bodies and our brains just like do that. The fact that anyone, any of these people have to rely on essential oils to keep their mind, like it reminds me of like how um christian apologetics and stuff they're they're always like well if you don't believe in god then where do your morals come from and how are you just like not murdering people all the time and it's like uh i don't know i just like objectively know that it's bad and i just like care for the well-being of other people around me like as you don't need a god to tell you that same thing with this shit i'm like uh, I don't know. My brain just reminds me that we're living in the present time. My brain tells me when someone is worthy of my forgiveness. Like, I just, nor that's just, like, normally how these things function. I don't need an essential oil to remind me how to be a good person. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe the two aren't really equated, but, like, that's what I always think of. I'm like, <sighs> You don't need a god to have morals, and you don't need an essential oil to remind you how to think and just be a decent human. So our good. feelings get it's important. It's important for our heart health. Murder takes too much energy. Mentioned though that when you do, hey, they have an essential oil called energy. So if you take that, then you can totally go murder whoever you want. That's a joke. Don't do that. And it held these <laughs> oils, like Bev was saying, um, you know, the olfactory nerves and your limbic system. Every now, as you're doing it, every time you inhale one of those oils, it's automatic going to be your brain's going to go to that. What a, whether it's forgiveness or present time, it's if you train your brain to do that, I guess. But like, if you don't train your brain to do that, it generally just does that automatically without you having to tell it that. What? What are these people talking about? Be a good human. It's a good philosophy. Exa I mean, yeah, yeah. Hey, brain, function like a, a decent human would. <laughs> forgive people when you feel like you need to forgive people. <laughs> just be a good person. What are, the, what are these other ones? Valor. Just, like, do some affirmations. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, like, you can do this if you really need to do it. Or you could just think it in your little brain and be like, okay, deep breaths, we can do this. No. Nope, you need to smell valor. I can't do anything unless I take a huff of valor. That's basically what I'm hearing, dude. And it's like, that's not, that's not okay. It's like, again, or healthy. you're practicing that of releasing or forgiving or <laughs> there's another oil called gratitude. I love that oil. I think you need an essential oil to remind you to have gratitude. You can, you're, you're, you're telling me that if you don't have your gratitude essential oil, you forget to be grateful for things and you for forget to say thank you and you forget to like you have to be smelling your fucking gratitude oil do you think these people are just walking around just like empty empty shells of human beings and like something sparks in their brain where it's like i think you're supposed to have like some kind of reaction to this situation and they, they go digging through their purse and they're like is this a time where i need gratitude am i supposed to say thank you oh yeah thank you it's like you don't need you don't need an essential oil to do that. I 
they're in very deep yeah just go on a walk right like you want to be thankful <laughs> you want some gratitude um you want to be grateful for things in your life yeah take a walk look at the sky look at the clouds smell the flowers i don't fucking know you don't need you don't need to be huffing essential oils for any of this shit I need to get the squirt bottle done. <laughs> right. Yeah, therapy is cheaper and also probably about 100% more effective. Gratitude is uh, one of the, the main things that we as human beings uh, will take us further in life is if we have a heart of gratitude um, towards one but another. But you need an so oil for that, right? doing yes. that all the time, not only is it you're doing it in this one step, but the next time that you it do it, you're going to remember, okay, yeah. harmony, like... And the reason I say that is because my son put on harmony and put on forgiveness every day of his school year this last year. And it was one of his hardest school years, not because of the work, but because the kids that were around him. Mm -hmm. And he got exposed to some things that he was shocked <laughs> about. I'm like, that's the world for you. Um, <laughs> but he had to have harmony with those that he didn't really have mm -hmm. connection with. Plus, he also... He needed an essential oil to do that. There's no... Stop. 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 She... These people are raising their kids to literally... This This is such unhealthy, like, behavior. I don't want to say... It, it's, it is the bite model. Behavioral and emotional control. Um, instead of just teaching them how to just be, like, a decent person and have... Like, deal with your emotions like a normal fucking person. They're like, no, honey. Uh... You, you're gonna be a total douche to these people unless you take this harmony oil you know it doesn't seem like a healthy way to raise your kids being able to like deal with emotions do you see what i'm saying hey christina thank you for being a member for 12 months hey it's been a year it is all in their mind yeah this is 100 percent placebo but I, I i don't see how it is helpful to raise a child from birth believing that the only way to be at one with your emotions is to have an essential oil for it conditioning their members to only feel emotion when triggered by a smell right yeah tell me it's a cult without saying it's a cult um yeah it's <laughs> so can you spike someone's drink with harmony oil and make them fall in love with you yeah it's magic <laughs> no this it's not healthy the, the, there's nothing there's nothing okay about any of this i'm like how do you people how do you, how do you function on a daily basis? Like you need an oil to remind you to be a living, breathing human being. Like how are you functioning? How are you a person? How do you go day by day by day? How do you do this? The science of smell is legit fascinating, but this ain't it. Yeah. Aromatherapy is totally a thing. Okay. It is. Um, not in the way that they want you to believe it is though. No. Can, can good smells produce good feelings? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, not gonna fucking <laughs> regulate your emotions, though. That's what therapy is for. Thank you again, Christina. So I had to forgive some people who didn't really know they needed forgiving, you know? <laughs> and so every day at school, he's like, I have to have my harmony, I have it. And so after a while, he didn't... He, he wasn't like, I have to have it, I have to. He would just put it on and then just go. It wasn't like this frantic thing before right. it was like... I Why does it have to be frantic? How did you teach? Oh, they ra see they raised their kids believing this shit. That's so frustrating. I can't <laughs> this pause. It's pretty good. Um, I just the the idea of any just like grown ass adult being like frantic when they start feeling something they don't know what it is. They don't know what they're supposed to do with themselves, and they're just like, <laughs> like frantically like, which oil am I supposed to sniff? <laughs> That's not normal. What the fuck? I have to, like, I, I'm feeling these feelings, but it started to mellow out. And the, at the end of the year, he was totally, like, he just put it on. And I'm like, you smell good, honey. He's like, yeah, my army. You know, versus <laughs> this frantic thing, it was now in his body. You taught him to make it a frantic heart, thing in the first in place. Mind, yeah. That things were going to get better. So anyways, and he graduated with That's not healthy. Colors, and thank you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Good job, Mom. Nice job. <laughs> Awesome. I love that. Awesome. All right. Well, you know, we want to have a healthy, happy heart and happy emotions. And 
um, whether it's Valentine's month or not, <laughs> we want to be in yeah. harmony. And so, you know, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach yeah. out to the person who shared that oh, oil show with it. you. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Yes. Um, I feel like that one was a roller coaster, like more than most of them are. I, I, I still just keep like dwelling on like the idea that these people just like don't know how to process emotions. Yeah, this one was a doozy. <laughs> if you're single, you need harmony. You'll find your new boots. <laughs> right. Yeah. She made her child an emotional basket case. Yeah, I think all these people are. Like, what happens if you run out of your harmony oil? Then what are you going to do? Start being a dick to people because you don't have your harmony oil? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. That This episode was bad. Like, a lot of them have just been, like, super funny, silly. But, like, this one, like, straight up has made me feel, like, bad feelings, you know? Wow. Yeah, it was hard. If this is one of their ways of trying to recoup revenue after that whole at a loss thing, this is just sad. Yeah, and, and at one point I was thinking, like, there's no way they're going to keep doing this. Like, because Young Living basically, like, got canceled. <laughs> Sheila, thank you for the $1.49 and the little black candy. Oh, how sweet. I love it. Thank you. Um, this man, I want some oils. They said to reach out to the person who shared. <laughs> Here's an oil. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't. Hey, here's, here's some good advice. Don't. Listen, if you like the smell of essential oils, as long as you're, I guess, diffusing them safely around your pets and your children, you do you. Okay? If you like the smell of it, great. Thank you again, Sheila. Um, but you don't need to be using them the way these people say that you should be using them. Uh, you can regulate your own emotions. Yeah. You don't need an oil to do that. I, yeah. Teach your child how to handle people in dealing with their emotions. Y yeah, I mean, seriously, like, watch watch one episode of Daniel Tiger and your kid will learn so much more about how to deal with emotions than any f fucking essential oil could. Like, holy moly. Yeah, Maddie, I like that. Do something to take care of yourself tonight. I'm gonna go cook after that, I suppose. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. I do appreciate it. I have to pee so bad, so I'm not going to linger. Um, but I do appreciate that you guys were here. Um, I know me and Aaron and JJ were talking about doing another stream this weekend, but I know f for me, like, I'm pretty burnt out on the Jesse Lee saga. Although, if other people aren't, um, I know we were talking about doing a stream, just uh, more, more Jesse Lee shit. But man, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a stream... This weekend. We were talking about it, but we haven't really scheduled it. So, if I don't see you this weekend on a stream, then uh, I will have a collab video out with Dietitian Kat Benson uh, next week. Emily Webb, thank you for subscribing. Um, Aaron's live right now. Hey, everybody. Um, listen. Listen to me. You better listen to me. <laughs> Uh, after I get off here, uh, please, uh, let's all hop over to Aaron's live. Uh, Aaron Bees is a wonderful human being and I love her so, so, so much, but apparently she's live right now. What's she talking about? Don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Um, you can't watch JL stuff. Yeah, I, I, I totally get you. Yeah, I was telling, I was telling the girls, like, I'm burnt out. <laughs> the more I, like, watch and listen to this Jesse Lee stuff, like, the more, kind of depressed it makes me I'm like it's, it's just overwhelming like how obnoxious this whole thing is I guess it's just like because I feel like she's just been gaslighting all of us you know what I mean um anyway uh yeah guys um yeah go go to Aaron B's channel here I'll, I'll pull up her stream right now and uh get, I'll post the link in the chat please hold please hold don't go anywhere I'm giving you the link right now you guys all have to show up and say, Sav sent me. She's doing a live react. Okay, hold on.
Please hold. Please hold. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'll kick your butt. That's going to make me sign it. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here we go. I'm going to post it in the chat a few times so you don't miss it. Okay. There it is. Please, um, please go over to Aaron B's channel. I'm going to be cooking dinner, but I will be in the chat with you guys too because I love Aaron B's. Aaron's amazing. Tell her Sav sent you. Same. Just coming over from the Savannah stream. Sav sent me. Wee. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys over there. Have a wonderful night. Please take care of yourself and each other. Who says that? That's not the end of some podcast or something. Anyway, I don't know. Okay, bye.